that some of you did wake up, check your bank account, and realize that your stimulus money was deposited in your bank account. Others, though, are still waiting to receive their money, whether it be direct deposit or be via check. And we have heard if you're receiving a check, some of those checks will have the president's name on them. Now, two House Democrats have introduced some legislation to give millions of Americans $2,000 per month because they say the one-time payment of $1,200 is just not going to be enough for most Americans, especially as the numbers of employment continue to skyrocket. Now, every single American making less than $130,000 annually would receive at least $2,000 a month under that plan. Married couples making less than $260,000 would receive $4,000 a month. Now, these payments would be guaranteed for six months and would continue until the unemployment ratio is above 16%. Again, that's just a plan that two House Democrats have introduced. Let's take a look here at the numbers in our area. So around the state of Florida, more than 22,000 people have tested positive for coronavirus. Close to 3,100 are hospitalized and 591 have died. Out of the 212,000 who have been tested for coronavirus, 187,000 have come back negative. Taking a closer look at our area specifically, 1,400 confirmed cases in Northeast Florida right now with Duval, St. John's, and Clay County still having the highest numbers. In Georgia, there are more than 14,000 people who have tested positive for coronavirus with 2,800 hospitalized, 524 have died. In Southeast Georgia specifically, there are 189 confirmed cases with seven deaths. Now going to worldwide numbers, we have reached the 2 million mark. The United States has the most right now with 609,000 cases and more than 128,000 people have died. However, more than 501,000 have recovered from the virus. And